She's a little tacky up here, that's for sure. Oh, shit. Well, truck stuck. Go through the mud hole. Just back there, you guys can't see anymore, but co-op spreading fertilizer up on top of the hill. Well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hartung Family Farms. And today, we're gonna be running up, finishing up Bellevue, finishing up our fourth final farm, and moving to Andrew for our third final farm. But it's gonna be some slow going now because Pat's a basketball coach for a local high school, so he's gonna, he's gonna start going to practices at three, I think practice at 3.30, so. Either myself or Brian will take over combining for a couple hours, so hopefully we can keep going in the uh, interim. Well, let's get up to the farm and uh, get a semi started up and head up to Bellevue. All right, so I just got up here. We got the local electric company working, uh, getting the bin set up. I believe we want the unload auger and everything. Unload auger on the uh, new, on the old new wet bin. Old wet bin, new bin over here. So they're getting that hooked up. I got some corn still on this old, on the day cab semi. I'm gonna start it up, let it warm up, then walk over and basically get some stuff going on. So Pat and Alan and everyone's up at Bellevue right now. I actually just saw Cletus leave. They're gonna get started up there. So I got a little bit of time. So I'm gonna dump this truck, grab the iPad and head north after I start the dryer. Time for your daily morning cold start. This thing's always a smoker, always. All right, this thing's fired up. I'm gonna let it warm up for about 10, 20 minutes. I'm gonna go park my car over at the farm get my backpack and everything ready. Also, if you could look very closely, that indicator up on top of the bin, you can tell that it's on. Which means our farm is completely full of corn, except for what we got uh, for room at the three main bin, dry bins. So we are getting close to being completely full and, and we still got over 300 acres of corn left. So we're definitely gonna have to use the elevator this year or sell some at the, at the river. So we'll probably do a little bit of both. Or well, not at the river, but at the processing plant at ADM, so. Let's go ahead and uh, head over to Grandma's. Well guys, the 8250 and 4412 combine and cornhead are leaving us. Thank you so much to Kunal Equipment and uh, for giving us the opportunity to demo. I just chat with one of the guys there for about 10, 20 minutes or so. Just saying basically, you know, just talking, shooting the breeze, but we appreciate the opportunity to demo it. It was a great combine. We kind of hope to pull the trigger on something here in the next year. We almost need to for you because we got haven't really announced it much but we got a lot of changes happening on the farm so it's it's needed so there's gonna be a lot of changes upcoming this year but again we appreciate the sales and support at kunal equipment in preston or dewitt so now i'm gonna go ahead and walk over grab the uh semi bring it over here start dumping it and then i'm gonna go ahead and probably fire up the dryer hopefully brian's done feeding cows by then and i'm gonna head back north now first, I'm going to check the wet bin, see how full it is, see if I need to start it up sooner rather than later. I don't think I need to because it's going to be a slower day, so I think we're going to be able to catch this wet bin pretty quickly. Five rings. Five and a half, basically. Yeah, we're a ring below the indicator, so I could probably start it up here soon. So I'll start it up when I start dumping. And like I mentioned before, the harvest store is full. Like I said, there's that indicator way up there. It is full. You still got that kink there. We're just gonna roll the dice and fill it up. We talked to some guys, we don't think it's gonna be that bad. We think it'll last at least for a couple more years. So we hope. So we're gonna roll the dice. Everything here on the farm is full because we've had a pretty good year for yields and we need the corn space. But I'm gonna take this thing over next door and dump it. Yeah, like I said, those guys are wiring up everything. Getting all the electric hooked up for the light we put on the bin, uh, for the loading system and for the fans. One kind of cool safety measure is if our wet leg is not on, our drive over dump will not turn on. Biggest reason for that is we don't want to be dumping corn into a leg that's not spinning, you'll plug it up. See? Won't turn, but if I turn the wet leg on, like now, there we go. All right, well, let's go ahead and dump this. Cats are very smart. They know it's dinner time. Don't you kitties? That's the mouser, one that's mainly white. So yeah, let's go ahead and finish dumping this truck. We'll grab something to eat and then head down to Bellevue. It may not look like it, but it's 37 degrees out right now. I'm gonna wear an Under Armour. 
Um, gonna check the dryer real quick. I just had to eat the delicious meal from Grandma. We had barbecue pork, uh, fried potatoes, uh, corn, beans, peach cobbler. Oh, it was good. I had to think about that for a second. Dryer's going good right now. Looks like I'm good to head out. Let's head down to Bellevue. Hopefully they're running right now. Hopefully I meet Cletus halfway down there. Bye, 8250. I miss you. Dryer's looking good. Let's head to Bellevue. I'm gonna be driving my usual state cab 93 for this year. I usually like driving the sleeper, but Cletus, that's Cletus's truck. He, he really loves driving that sleeper, the 2013 truck with all the chicken lights. Either way, let's head out. Neighbor on his corn with his 9660. 650, sorry. All right, I'm up in Bellevue right now. Uncle Bun's running grain cart. Cleese is just about full, and then he's gonna dump the rest onto me. I actually pulled in on the wrong spot. Pulling at the wet spot right there, and I made a good amount of ruts. I'm lucky I was locked in. My differentials were locked in, and I gave her and got out, but she's a little tacky up here, that's for sure. That's why, if you guys remember last year, this was all a mud hole, and we actually put rock just so we were able to get this get the trucks out and so we weren't unloading on the road so we're thankful for that but yeah it's a little wet still but i got pat's ipad i'm gonna run that over to him here soon as soon as i pull up it's pat's right there and it's it's dusty out that's for sure there goes cletus bun stumping on me i kind of pulled up so like i said drive tires are on rocks back tires are kind of on a little bit of a down slope so i should be able to get out of here with a full load but right now let's go ahead and head over to pat and bring him his ipad and he is full. Downside about having a small combine and small hopper. So I'm just looking, there's hardly any loss on the ground. Like there's one kernel I just saw. Next to nothing. Which there shouldn't be because dry corn's really easy to harvest. If you struggle in dry corn, you're gonna struggle in a lot of crops. But either way, they're gonna get moving again. My Uncle Bun's giving her. Yeah, so it's a little sloppy down here, but it's good enough. We're gonna get her out. We get a full-wheel drive combine. We get a full-wheel drive tractor. We're gonna get this corn out and we're gonna head to Andrew. This is gonna be, like I said, this is our fourth farm left that we have. We have this one when we're done with that. We got Andrew, we got the Diamond Farm, and we got back home. So we'll get her done. Hopefully we'll get up to Andrew and get 30 acres knocked out up there. We'll see. You know what? Let's get the drone up in the air. What do you guys think?
All right, my Uncle Bon is filling me up. We're, gonna, we're in some pretty good going right now. Pat's is doing some short roads, but we're in some pretty good going, so it's gonna take all, Cletus all we can to keep up. That's why Bun's filling both of us up full. A lot of bees wings in this. A lot of them. The sample looks pretty good. It's just a ton of bees wings. I don't know if I like that. Bees wings, all this red stuff you see flying around. That's what's called bees wings. It's like I am full. So let's get moving. Cows are right here. They're, they're, they have access to my, both my dad's fields, so the corn field and bean field. So they've been picking away at those and whatever grass is around. But So I gotta pull out and close the, close the gate after uh, Bun leaves. We'll be good enough. Let's go. Yep, so we gotta close the gates when we leave. It's just because the cows are out. Oh, I love my Uncle Bun. Wish he was able to be around more, but he just can't. Can't for health reasons. And his wife. Gotta help take care of his wife. Important things, guys. I'm not gonna get it perfect, perfect, just because Cleese is gonna be coming in here soon. Just so the cows see a barrier. Hey, there's mine. Hi, Yellow. Hey, don't be, be nice. Talking to you, be nice. Yeah, yeah, that's right, you. Trying to bully my cow. Won't have any of that. I'm watching you, white face. Oh, I was just gonna get the camera out to say that uh, part of the charm with Bellevue is that there's a train track that goes right down the middle. Well, train just left. And there's the elementary school my mom's a principal at. Neat. Driving semi. Ah, uh, made it. No issues. So let's go ahead and start dumping. Right, let's check the dryer and then chill. So like I said, we got Pat and Alan riding in the combine up there, my Uncle Bun, and then my dad's gonna take over when Bun has to go home. And me and Cletus trucking. Pat's got basketball practice starting up. He's a coach at local high school, as I said before. So that's gonna be from like 3.30 to 5 every day. So from like 2.30 to 5.30, Alan's gonna take over in combine. And then when he gets done, Pat's gonna probably come back and take over for Alan. Alan is gonna take off tomorrow morning. He's gotta get back and do his own stuff. He's got his own farm out in central Iowa. So we really do appreciate his help, that's for sure. Brian is around doing liquid, liquid manure. Hauling liquid manure with the 190 and the uh, nice manure tank of the 4200. Hey there. All done. Let's go ahead and head over to Andrew. I gotta take the back way because um, like I said, it's a little wet up there. In Bellevue, we had a solid pasture and rock that we could park the semis on, but in Andrew, we're gonna have to park in the field or on the gravel road. So I'm gonna actually come in the backwards way in case we have to park on the road. And Brian's over there sucking out the manure tank. Let's go ahead and head to Andrew. We got basically a catch basin for liquid manure at every farm yard, so, or cattle yard, so he's sucking them out. We like to do that after every rain because it's free nutrients for us and it keeps the runoff to a minimal. Here's what we call our Zymet farm right here to our right. We got basically 105, 110 acres of corn and two, one small field, one big field. And it's also got hay on the outside. It's about, it may only 100 acres. But this is gonna be our field that we go after this next farm that we finish. So it'll be a couple days though, because this farm we're at is 150 acres. That's where we're gonna go. Hi Gavin, how are you doing man? I haven't seen you in a while. That's also a bean field by the way. And how, of course, how can we forget Aaliyah Case? How are you guys doing? We chopped at their farm. If you guys want to see a card right now in the top right video of us chopping there. Here's their field where we chopped most of it. They still got a pick kind of towards the river, but yeah, we just crossed the Iron Bridge of Iron Bridge Road in Jackson County, Iowa. It's a nice 851 grain cart. Kinsey. Pulled by a John Deere 8430. Alrighty, so I made it to the Andrew farm. The reason I'm parked on the road here is like I mentioned before. We don't know if it's gonna be dry enough in there because normally I would basically take this back road and go back two miles to the farm, but there's usually we park in a kind of the low nine acre bottom piece, not even nine acre bottom piece, like probably three acre bottom piece. We park the semis there, but if it's wet, we can't go though. We gotta sit on the road. So I'm gonna wait here until they get here. They'll be here in about probably 10 minutes or so. All right, Pat, my Uncle Bun. And I'm guessing the grain cart's gonna be coming too. There's a grain cart. They're gonna be pulling in there and heading up that way. No. Oh. I wonder who the fourth is. I bet my dad came this way. I was gonna let you see it. See how it is when you cut into that bottom there. It looks a little drier out here, but I was gonna let you see how that bottom piece is. Alright. 
drinker it's got some in it we can dump on me right now all right they're gonna dump on me here and then there's enough room it looks like they can turn around right there so we'll see all right i forget my gopro for you know an hour I would just, it ended up me jumping in the grain cart to unload it for Alan because he didn't really want to on the, on the road. Then it turned into me driving the grain cart, then it turned into me kind of directing traffic, and then it turned into me getting vehicles, and then it turned into me parking semis, and yeah, now we're here. So my dad's full. I'm going to ride with him to come out. Cletus is on his way in. We're on private property right now. I'm gonna be, uh, that's why I don't have my seatbelt. So yeah, I'm going to go in, unload the grain cart on my truck come back in here put my dad's truck where it's supposed to be we're just gonna park for the night direct Cletus make sure he's good then go back and dump my truck because we're at our farthest away farm now for one combine really you almost need three trucks at least for the 7088 and the 12 world once it's good going you almost need three trucks and there's bun so yeah hopefully my dad's coming down the hill here all right I just unloaded my truck or loaded my truck and loaded his grain cart that out of there so now he's gonna head out because alan's probably gonna be waiting for him and i'm gonna head out as well see you later budley whoops you didn't see that well it's uh dark out so we're at what are called our andrew farm it is our farthest farm away so the farther away we get from our bin site here the more logistics that we need so basically the more trucks that we need so we only have the one combine up there, the 7088, that can do about 2,000 bushels an hour or so and good going. So we're going to be struggling with two trucks to keep up. That way, so tomorrow we're actually going to have three trucks. We're going to do uh, me, Cletus, who we're doing right, hauling right now, and then Brian's going to jump in the quad just to kind of give us a little supplement. But, so to couple with that, being our farthest farm away, we're almost full at the bin site. Another ring left on the big, wet, big dry bin. Um, probably 7,000 room in the wet bin and probably another 10,000 in the west bin so realistically we're gonna be filled up probably probably tomorrow yeah probably tomorrow if not the next day so we got a bunch of logistics stuff we're trying to work out right now all right all done let's head back to Andrew do it again I just got back to the Andrew farm I'm actually waiting right outside of the entrance Big reason why is because Alan actually busted a snoot, so Cletus didn't, isn't, hasn't left yet, so I'm waiting for Cletus to leave so I can pull in. Yep, I'm just gonna head in then. All right, bye. So Cletus isn't full with this last one, so I'm actually gonna head in and chill. So this is the Andrew Farm. It's tucked back two miles off the highway, way in the back sticks. It's hard to get to, narrow lane. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but farm ground's decent and it's, Two 50 acre fields, a 10 acre bottom, and a 100 acre field. So it's it's actually pretty good going for our standards. But it's hilly. Last year, actually, Alex from Mellow Roche Farms was out here for this one. Let's head in and try not to get stuck. Lost fingers. All right, so here we are. Cletus and I are stacked up. That's gonna fill Cletus. It's just one hopper full. But that'll fill up Cletus. So then I'll be a full truck here waiting for probably 45 minutes. Hopefully only a half hour, but. We'll see, they're opening up the field, it's slow going. Man, those lights are nice when you're in the tractor, but they are bright and they suck when you're out of it. At least it provides good backlighting for me. That way you guys can see me without a flashlight, I think. That's what sucks about using the GoPro Hero 7. I don't have a forward facing screen so I can see how I look or how bad I look. Which I guess that's not necessarily a bad thing because I probably look really bad. In case you guys don't know, I'm a little scruffy. I haven't shaved in a month and a half or so. It's my harvest beard. Actually, first day of soybean harvest was the day I shaved. Oh yeah, get a little scruffy. Longest it's ever been. Well, that's not good. He just reversed. I really hope he's not stuck. I really hope he is not stuck. God bless America. Oh man. Yeah. You're not really pushing much here. Cool. On that side, you kind of are. I'm thinking forward, just get it out of here. Yeah. Well, truck stuck. <sighs> thinking if I just hook a chain right here and I can back out, back that thing out, hopefully get it off up on this ridge and maybe it can go by itself. Well, so biggest reason why you got stuck is he was too far this way. It's too far to your left, and he didn't give her. So it's too soft. I don't know. We'll see. 
We got a semi in the middle. Jason appreciate it so we got him unstuck I don't know I think we'd be able to make it he's just gotta put it in third gear and just absolutely give it um, he didn't the last time and he was too far over so I don't know we'll give it a shot this next time I'm gonna try and get keep get loaded in here but we'll see I also turned your center headlight off so it's right to your left your hazard that toggle switch that was, that was a little bit more excitement that I wanted but hey Got it done? Sounds good. Semi is unstuck. Funny thing is, I was recording, I was literally gonna say, oh man, he made it, we're good. He didn't get stuck, and he got stuck. I'm thinking we should be able to make it if he swings wide. Because as I was saying before, this stuff is pretty firm right here where all the stock stubble is. But this stuff right here where there's nothing growing, is sticky, it sinks. And you can kind of see, here's his tracks. So I'm thinking if I just swing wide and get real close to the ditch, I'll be fine, I'll be able to make it. At least that's what I'm gonna try at least. He was locked in, but I don't know. We're gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna give it a shot, I should say. All right, so new plan. I still think I, I would be chancing it with my bald tire. So I think I'm gonna reposition, try something we haven't tried before at night. That's always a recipe for success, right? And I'm gonna try and uh, reposition. So hopefully I don't get stuck. Next time you guys see me and I'm cursing and hot headed, you'll know what happened. So I repositioned and I'm sitting on the road right now. And I'm going to go ahead and probably even back up just a little bit more. But I'm thinking my dad can just come right in here and unload right here. He should have room, especially if I back up even a little bit more. I don't want to back up too much because then I'm going to be, my tandems are going to be pulling uphill in this heavy weight. I might just stay right here. Yeah, we'd be loading tarp side. That's one down thing, downside, but I think he should be able to pull up as far as he needs to. Yeah, I'm going to sit right here. We are close. Go back up and go to your right. Budman almost hit. What are you doing? Alrighty, Budman's gonna load me up. I think I'm gonna start the truck quite yet just because I don't think it's gonna fill me up. Like I said, we're loading tarp side. We don't usually like to do that, but I guess for times go for definite measures. I'd rather, you know, be able to get in the field than not in the field. There's Alan up on top of the hill there. Looks like he's just about got this 50 acre piece opened up. Alrighty, so my dad, there were some rocks right here we had to watch out for, but I stepped it off before I parked here, as you guys saw and I told you about. Um, this will probably fill me up. Let's start up the truck. We unload so slow, my one to see. Alright, this will fill me up. I am full. I am pulling up. Close the tarp. Get out of here. So I'm probably right on a legal load, if not a little bit less. Good enough. All right, I'm back finally. Oh man, it's been a long way. It's 8:10 right now. I'm trying to decide if I want to go out for another load or not. We'll see. I'm still like I said, jury's still out on that one. It's going to really depend on the wife. Because if I go out for another one, it'll be 11:30 by the time I get home. So, oh, but for right now, let's go up and get some deep. Well, I just left you guys hanging like this for the last hour or so. But I just got back with my last load of the night. The day cab is sitting up there. They're going to fill it, and Pat's going to bring that home. I'm basically going to go ahead. I'm basically gonna go ahead and shut this thing down, pull it over there and shut it down for the night. 
go ahead and pack up and get ready to quit. Alrighty guys, we are closing in on under 300 acres. We cut it about 50 acres again today. So uh, that makes about 120 up at Andrew, 100 up at Zymitz, and about, oh, probably 320 left or so. So not bad, we're getting there. It's getting down there. We can do 50 acres a day with the current help that we got, four or five people. And we do another 80 acres a day when we got Curtis and Nathan home. We'll be really kicking good to be done by Thanksgiving, weather depending. So we'll see. But either way, I'm going to close it down for the night. We're going to open this truck, put it away, and call our night. So hope you guys did enjoy that video. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Hudson Family Farms. And of course, guys, as always, bye for now.